The former Temple police officer accused of shooting and killing Michael Dean returned to the courtroom today. The case now has a trial date this morning. The defense and prosecution hashed out which evidence would be available during that trial. Six News reporter Andrew Moore breaks it all down for us. Andrew. Now, former officer Carmen de Cruz didn't say much in today's hearing. Instead, his defense filed a motion for discovery, which means they are looking for evidence. Defense attorney Robert McCabe wants all the evidence that the prosecution currently has, as well as some things that they don't yet have. We believe certain small amounts of items are missing from discovery that are critical to our defense. Prosecutors will generally turn over their evidence to the defense in accordance with federal law. Defense attorney Robert McCabe told us today he already has most of the information he needs, but there are some items he still needs to track down that relate to some major pieces of evidence. Items of evidence from the DPS crime lab that analyzed the video in this case and also a firearm that was used in this case. Uh, to look to see what kind of testing procedures they used, what kind of software they used. McCabe said he will bring in experts to assess the validity of the testing and how it could affect the video. It may seem like a lot of work to bring body cam footage or other video into question because of the way it was tested, but legal expert Liz Mitchell says the attorney has an obligation to use every possible defense they have available. It's his job to poke holes in the prosecution's case and to really flesh out every piece of evidence and hash out all possible defenses. Otherwise, it would be ineffective assistance of counsel. And ineffective counsel could be a reason for appeal. McCabe also wants all the criminal histories of all witnesses and all police officers related to the case. Right. Typically, officers don't have a criminal history, but um, the state's not allowed to give out the actual printouts of the criminal history, but they can talk to you about anything in it that's relevant. And that's because attorneys can sometimes use criminal history to bring a witness's background into question. But Mitchell says not everything on a criminal record is fair game when evaluating someone's character. And Judge Paul Lepak also asked both McCabe and the prosecutors when they wanted to go to trial multiple times today. Neither party could pick a date, so finally the judge just said, hey, how about July 25th? And that's what's on the docket right now. That said, Bell County District Attorney Henry Garza already told us earlier this year they are ready to prosecute as soon as possible. We'll, more about, we'll talk more about what this trial could look like coming up at 6 o'clock. Leslie? All right, thanks, Andrew.